This is a 1989 Lennox heat pump, and I think it might be defrosting. Don't know though. Or it could be running in cool mode and it's on a low ambient kit. Or maybe the fan motor broke. Um, I don't know where the, there's the line set. Line set is cold. So I don't know if it's defrosting or running in cool mode. This is one of the most interestingly installed heat pumps I've ever seen. And that is just my breath. I don't know what the hell it's doing. But as you can see, the fan blades aren't spinning. Yeah, that might be running in cool mode. Single digit wind chill and it's running in cool mode. That's pretty funny. All right, um, I'm juggling a um, hot chocolate from Starbucks here. Yeah, I do not know what the hell it's doing. My camera was acting weird there for a sec. For some reason, the, um, the little thing that shows how much time has gone by in the video is running really, really slow, and I thought it actually froze. I think this cold weather has something to do with that. But yeah, again, this is a 1989 Lennox heat pump installed in the middle of some bushes. And I've been filming this thing for a couple years now, and I still do not know what building it goes to. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Also, it is so cold. It has to be really cold for it to do this. When I walked into Starbucks, um, and I just dropped my camera case. That is not good. Oh, there it is. It's so freaking dark and nothing but plants around here. Um, that would not have been good if I'd lost that camera case. I don't know what the hell it's doing. No, no warmth coming up out of it, and the suction line is cold, which is indicative of running in cool mode. Compressor's definitely running. And I think that round one might have turned on. Or not. No, it did not. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna go find a dumpster. Right, I just threw my, um, Hot chocolate cup in the garbage. Still doing it. That makes no sense. Coils are... They're not hot, but they're not cold either. They're like kind of... Cool, like, but not freezing. It's hard to explain. This this thing isn't defrosting. It's actually running in cool mode, and it's like 20 degree, 20 something degrees right now. Probably about 20 degrees with a wind chill that makes it feel like it's in the single digits. And this heat pump is running in cool mode. Either that, or it's, let me check that again. Yeah, the, the line, the suction line is cold. Huh. That, that is the weirdest damn thing. But it's actually not too loud either. 
I'm afraid the compressor's gonna blow up or something. Yeah, no steam. It's it's definitely just running in cool mode. It's not defrosting. Thinking maybe something came loose. And it's vibrating the ground. And it has the Lennox um, name stamped into the cabinet on this side too. Not over here, just on the other two, just on the two sides. Don't know how well you can see that. Unless it's like, um, I mean, I've seen, oh, maybe it was defrosting. It made a weird noise before the fan kicked back on. Let's see if the, um, low side gets warm again. Yeah, there's the disconnect box. I remember I made a video of this unit almost, in fact, it was two years ago. I actually, you know what, that was the time I had my SLR with me, but not the, the, the um, little video camera. And I thought I missed a defrost cycle. And so another YouTuber believed that there might be like a basement or something under here that this unit heats and cools. Seems to be working now. That was weird. Because um, with a low ambient kit, it would like shut, it should be shutting off the fan and turning it back on. So it allows the head pressure to rise just enough so that the Freon gets um, warmed up and it doesn't cause compressor slugging. Then it'll shut it back off before um, the Freon gets cool again and allow it to heat up and it prevents damage to the compressor. This thing was running with the fan off for like, it seemed like more than five minutes. Air coming out of the top is cold, but then again, like I said, it's really, really cold right now, so that could be either heat mode or cool mode. And I can't really tell with the line set. That was the damnedest thing. Maybe it was defrosting, because I seriously did hear a little, um, like, whooshing noise inside the unit. And unless they converted it over to a, a an advanced defrost control board, this unit might still have the timer defrost in there. And, yeah, I think this unit has a timer defrost, and that might be gooned up, and that's why it was taking so long to defrost if it was, in fact, defrosting. I really can't tell. My camera really is taking a long time to count down the video. It's at 8 minutes 9 seconds now. 8 minutes 8 seconds. Yeah, that's the cold that's doing that to the camera. Alright, I'm going to stick around a couple more minutes. What time is it? Seven fourteen p.m. January third, two thousand twelve. 
You know, for a 23, almost 23 year old unit, this one is pretty um, reasonably quiet. And it has that unique design where the condenser coil is only on the bottom half of the unit. I don't know why they did it that way. You know what? I think it's running in cool mode. The line set hasn't even gotten remotely warm yet. I think it's running in cool mode. And this battery's about to die. I did a lot of filming today. Alright, if anything interesting happens, I have a whole freshly charged battery in my camera case. Alright, this is a 1989 Lennox heat pump, unknown heating and cooling capacity, probably about an 8 or 9 sear. Um, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.